Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Mad Lads. It's time to look at some mental guys. Well, let's see how mental they actually are. Top 15. He learned it and he learned and he did it. Murphy's Law states that the best way to get the right answer on the internet is to not ask a question, is to post the wrong answer. What are some examples where you, you apply this law? This is Cunningham's law, not Murphy's law. Murphy's law is anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. Um he didn't get it <laughs> because it's the wrong answer yeah he didn't get it he um posted the this guy yeah r slash whoosh for that one jeez yeah damn it david donnelly didn't get the joke moving on satar Bukh, absolute mad lad <coughs> a pakistani man named satar Bukh op opened a cafe shop with a starbucks logo with his face on it named Shatar Buksh. <laughs> Starbucks sued him and they lost because he said that it's my name and face in the logo. Suppose, yeah, he just put his face and name in a circle with a colour green on it. Starbucks don't own the colour green. <laughs> oh, I've got hiccups. This is mental. <laughs> so hard to do. <laughs> maybe if they got the exact shade of green copyrighted, maybe? But all you need to do is change it slightly, and then, yeah. It's not theirs. 13. Wholesome Mad Lad. What is the most rebellious thing you did as a kid? As a kid, I straight up lied to my... I straight up lied to my dad's face about having a school project on the solar system. I even made up a deadline so we'd have... We'd, I even made up a deadline so we'd have plenty of time. But I just wanted to make something with him. Not sure why I lied. Yeah, such a mad lad. Such a mad lad wants to spend lot of time with their dad. <laughs> and I'm back, I think my hiccups have stopped. Right, where were we? Moving on to 12. Work smarter, not harder. From now on, I'm telling jobs I was a general manager at Toys R Us. Who the fuck are they gonna call? Suppose, yeah, but also it went under. So, probably not the best thing to put on your CV. <laughs> yeah, you know that shop that shut down? Yeah, I was the new manager. Good luck calling somebody. But didn't it shut down? Oh yeah, I suppose. I suppose so. Number 11. Dude legit left for two years and just came back. True mad lad. I'm living YouTube for two years. I'll come back to YouTube after two years. Wow. He actually did it for two years. And it's only 20 seconds longer for the video. <laughs> at least he lived up to his word, so at least he's reliable. <laughs> Number 10, four year old mad lad. Four year old, can I have some of your candy? Wife, I got this on Mother's Day. Four, you're only a mum because of me. Why are you booing? I'm right. Yeah, true. <laughs> Wait, so you got it for Mother's Day? So it would have been off of your only child. So I don't give someone candy and then expect it straight back. Because that is supposed to be from you. I know, of course, the dad got it for the wife. But it's supposed to be from you. So leave it. <laughs> Number nine. Loving couple lad. My boyfriend's so cute. He brought me Starbucks while I dye my hair. Went to Area 51, got me my alien. <laughs> it's, it's not anybody's alien, it's your alien. You see, there's some feelings in that. <laughs> I mean, it could have been worse. Instead of it being my alien, it could have been got abducted by an alien or <laughs> forced me to buy her Starbucks or something like that. So, it's still kind of relationshipy. <laughs> Number eight. A dish best served cold. It's her summer break, so I woke my 12 year old daughter up at 5.15 this morning. I've been waiting for this revenge since she was four. When she asked me why I was up, I told her my blanket fell off the bed. Wow. So 12. You could have at least waited till 16, where she would have got the joke. <laughs> but at 12, she's not quite old enough <laughs> to realise what you're doing <laughs> but early enough so that she's probably forget it by 16 and you can do it all over again number seven 
Mad Dad. It will be a lot harder for kids to win against their parents in video games in the future. My parenthood goal was to stay just good enough at the latest game so that I could beat my kid at their latest game and then go victory F their mother. Okay. So he's going to do the your mother kind of jokes and stuff like that but actually go through with it. <laughs> Let's hope that you and their mum are still together by then. Because that could be awkward. Number six, I do need new pillows. Tag a friend who's committed a crime and you could you'd be entered to win a $20 bed bath and beyond gift card. Wow. So I could snitch up a friend and also get new pillowcases. In that case, no. <laughs> I like the um <laughs> the Twitter Twitter handle we've got. It's the FBI. <laughs> Thing is. That $20 coming from the FBI, that's already your money. <laughs> so yeah, you've just given yourself a gift card. So you've changed your money into a less useful version of the same quantity. That's why gift cards, apart from like Amazon gift cards, because there's so much you can spend it on. I don't like to give because of... You could just give them the universal, <laughs> the universal gift card of money <laughs> where well, you don't have to limit them to a store thanks FBI at least I'll be able to sleep good at least I'll be able to sleep well knowing the fact that you put my friend behind bars yeah <laughs> number five hold up my parents have access to mine and my brother's bank accounts and accidentally took money out of my brother's savings instead of theirs to pay the mortgage and now every time we tell him to do something he says you can't talk to me like that it's my house well I suppose if they didn't pay you back, then probably part of a wall is yours. Or a couple of the uh, roof tiles, maybe. So you could be underneath it. But still, I imagine they paid you back. Talking about holding on to the littlest things that ever happened. <laughs> number four, don't upvote this. Well, well, the fact that this is number four means that people did. If this gets one upvote, I'll delete my Reddit account. But did they? Did they? Yes, they did. You can. Yeah, it is by deleted. Wow, such a mad lad. At least they stuck to their guns, okay? So give them that in credit. <laughs> Number three, bonkers. My, I told my boyfriend to show me pictures of my outfits that I ordered, and I was for sure not expecting this. Well, you you wanted pictures, and apparently he fits in them. So. <laughs> But yeah, moving on. He's gonna be a madman. Parents have read it. What is the best weird flex but okay moment you've seen from your child? My four year old son kept peeing on the toilet seat because he wouldn't hold his penis. I told him he had to start holding it, and his response was, I can't hold it because it's too big. What a chad. Yeah, okay. At four years old, I wonder the parenting really. Right, number one, final one of the episode. Six-year-old nephew, Uncle Mike, why don't you have a wife? Me, I'm gay. Nephew, what that mean? Me, I like men, not women. Nephew, silence. So why don't you have a husband? Yeah, <laughs> weren't expecting that one, were you? <laughs> you say, well, that's not an excuse, really. <laughs> you can't use the excuse of you being gay. <laughs> Where's your other half? <laughs> and that was the top post of Mad Lads for the last month. Right, I will see you next week. I don't know what it's going to be. Could be anything really. It could be something that's even left down in the comment section below. If you liked this week, hit like. If you didn't, then don't. Don't forget to hit subscribe and then you see next video pop up on your subscription feed. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.